I filmed this exercise a while ago and realized that I have missed out some important details. Today, I would like to revisit this exercise called multifidus rocking to give you more information. Standing with one leg in the front and one leg in the back, with the pelvis looking straight ahead, and you simply rock back and forth and back and forth with your feet in contact with the ground. You do not have to lift your feet like this. Do not have to. This is a very simple exercise to do and what this does is to help to activate the deep muscles in your spine called multifidus. Multifidus does most of the work in stabilizing your low spine. And we all know that a lot of the low back problem is due to instability in the lumbar spine. I would like you to try this. Put your fingers on your low back. Like this. Here in the middle are your spine bones. Right next to your spine bones are your low back muscles. Put your fingers there like this. Come back here. Put your right foot in the front and the left foot in the back and you start to rock. Feel for the muscle tone under your fingers especially under your right fingers. You have now your right foot in the front. I want you to pay attention to the muscle tone under your right fingers. In the beginning, the muscle tone may feel quite dense, quite tight, but as you rock along, they become softer and lighter. And when that happened, it's because your multifidus muscle have started to work more. And these low back muscles under your fingers, they're called erector spinae, they finally get to be more relaxed. How many of you should be doing this? Many. I tell my clients they should be doing a hundred times on each side. One, two, three, four, five. It sounds like a lot, but it won't take long to finish a hundred on each leg. Okay, and now let's do a compare. Your right lower back should feel lighter and softer. If not, go back with the right leg in the front and do this exercise again. Switch sides. And now with the left leg forward, I want you to pay attention to the muscle tone under your left fingers. The best place and best time to do this is when you're brushing your teeth in the morning, brushing your teeth at night. A hundred times on each side. You can also do this while you're watching TV, reading documents on your laptop, standing in line waiting for a bus, a train, in the supermarket, in the bank, it says that when you're in a public, you have to make this exercise more subtle or you can invite everybody else to join you, which is great. Okay, feel for the muscle tone on the left side. 
I'm gonna stop here because I can sense a change already. And now see how you feel in your low back. And go for a walk. Do you feel like you're walking taller and you're looking further your back feels lighter, more supported, and supple. And if you have a low back tightness to begin with, do you feel better now? Do this exercise a lot, a lot, and a lot, especially if you have to sit at your desk for a long period of time. And when you feel tight and stiff in your low back, as well as use this as your warm up in your upper body and lower body workout days. It is going to help you keep your lower back strong so that you can push, you can lift, you can squat, and you can lunge. That's it for today. I wish you well. Be happy, stay healthy. I'll see you next time. Bye bye.